Hi everyone, welcome to this course on model context protocol and agent to agent protocol. So let me start by telling you what are you going to learn in this course. What you can see on your screen is something that we are going to build. Please don't be overwhelmed by it right now because we are going to do this step by step and go through each and every part of this particular diagram to help you build this multi-agent MCP plus A2A system. But I'm starting with this because I want to show you that this is a full course that will not only cover the basics and theory aspects of MCP and A2A, it will also cover building these systems with full code hands-on and then building a multi-agent system that works with both MCP and A2A. So this is one of the few courses that you'll find that will help you build a complete multi-agent system that actually works in real life with MCP and A2A. So how do we reach the stage that we start from zero and we're able to build a multi-agent system like this? We're going to do that by first starting from the basics. So we're going to first understand what model context protocol is. And just to give you a one line definition, this is a protocol that helps agents connect to external tools and resources through something called MCP servers and MCP clients. The agent will use an MCP client, it will connect to a server and get some external tools. Like for example, your agent might need access to a database so it can actually connect to a server that you have created that provides it a tool to query the database. Right, So that is what MCP helps in, which is a very short definition and we'll look at more of it as we go along in the course. But we're going to understand what MCP is first. We're going to build an MCP server with a single tool and this is going to be a basic implementation to help you understand what are MCP servers and MCP tools. Then we are going to build an MCP client and we're going to use this MCP client to connect to our MCP server. We'll also use Claude Desktop, which is also an app that you might have used before and it's also an MCP client. So we'll use that to connect to our server as well. So this will be an integration of our server with existing MCP apps like Cloud Desktop, which already have a built-in MCP client. So this is going to help you clear this particular branch, which will help you understand how MCP works. One more thing we are going to do is we are going to connect MCP clients to multiple MCP servers. So we'll have a config.json file where the MCP client can list all the servers and then it can connect to multiple MCP servers. So we'll do that as well. And this is going to complete the MCP part of our course. Next, we are going to look at agent to agent protocol. So again, just to give you a one line definition of what A2A is, it helps agents connect to other agents across organizational or technical boundaries. So you might have built one agent and your friends or colleagues or another enterprise has built another agent, agent two, and your agent one wants to connect to agent two. So it uses A2A protocol to connect and that is the use of uh, A2A. That's why we use A2A. How we're going to understand this is first we're going to look at what are the different components under A2A, how does it work, all the basic theory about it. Then we'll build an A2A server with a remote agent and we're going to build an A2A client and we're going to connect them together just like we did for MCP. This is going to clear how A2A clients connect to A2A servers and remote agents and we're going to use an agent with this A2A client over here which is going to then call this remote agent, take its help using the A2A protocol. Just like in MCP, we are going to use an agent registry over here, which will list all the agents that are available for us. And your A2A client can actually then connect with the registry, list the agents and then connect to all these remote agents. So this is going to complete the A2A branch over here and you will completely understand what A2A is. So this is part two of the course where you'll understand all the A2A aspects. The next aspect of this course will bring these two together. So what we'll do is we'll move over here and we'll make our multi-agent system using A2A and MCP together. How are we going to do that? We'll first build what is called a host agent. So this is going to be the entry point for our system. This is where we control everything together. This host agent will have an orchestrator. 
So orchestration basically means that how given a query from a user, how do you use the different MCP servers and all the different A2A agents available to you to complete that task? You might break it into bits. You might give one bit to an MCP tool to work on. You might give another bit to an A2A agent to work on. And then all that is done together. Everything comes back to the orchestrator in the host agent and it gets a complete response to one single query. What we're going to do is we're going to build this host agent which will have an orchestrator to do all this. This host agent is going to use something called an MCP connector to connect to this MCP branch and it will connect to the A2A branch using tools which will list all the available agents from the agent registry and it will allow it to delegate the task to all these agents. So this is what we are going to build after that. And once we have done this, this will be our complete multi-agent system. Just so that you're able to interact with this system, we are going to build a minimal front end for this system where you as the user can send a query to this front end system. It can then pass on this query to your host agent and then the host agent does all the magic. So it will do all the orchestration for you. It will use all the MCP tools and servers. It will use all the A2A agents and help you complete this task. So this is what this course is going to be all about. I wanted to let you know in a visual way so that you understand this is what you're going to achieve at the end. Please note that these are very fast changing protocols. So MCP was launched around November 2024 and A2A was made available in April 25. And these are so new that they are changing very, very fast. So you should be open to and not only in this course, you know, across the board, wherever you're learning from, you should be open to breaking changes that might happen as these things develop. This is very common in early stage software and they are sometimes very, very messy. I've already been teaching this for the past couple of months and I have seen those things happen in the past. So just be aware of that and don't get frustrated by it. Just stick on to this particular system that we are building. And as we build this system, you'll understand how each of these simple components work individually, how they connect together to form this much larger and useful system, which is a real life system that you might build. So I, I hope that is enough motivation for you to take this course and understand about MCP, A2A from scratch and how to use them to build a full system. Thanks for watching this introductory lecture on what we learn in this course. And I'll see you in the next lecture.